the newest invention from Keymove, the P10 2-in-1 keycaps and switches puller tool. A quick disclaimer, Keymove did send me this tool as a gift, but did not ask for a review in return, even though I feel that this is a good video topic anyway, so why not? A few good things, one, the keycap puller is pretty much like the standard one. Nothing to complain about nor brag about, just sweep these clamps under the keycap and pull. Both are equally easy to use and equally fast. The magic happens, however, in the switch pulling component. I don't know about you, but I often have trouble getting switches out easily. I have to strain my thumb and index really hard on some of these switch pullers in order to force the switches out. And in some cases, I have outright broken the buckles of a switch, simply because I pinched it too hard. Other times, I pinched it too little, and the switch gets stuck. One other thing is that because of the size of these arms, you cannot use a normal switch puller on switches that are on the edges of the keyboard. The entire keyboard has to be taken apart before you can pull them out. Otherwise, if you try to force a switch puller in, you might just risk scratching the keyboard case and ruining the anodization. Hand to my heart, I have to say that I've never pulled switches out so easily and quickly ever. I've tried many switch pullers, trust me, but none are this smooth nor easy to operate. Just press the tool on the switch, wiggle it, pull, and eject. No matter how tight or loose the switches are fixed on the plate, this tool is amazing at removing them. And two, even though not an intended use, it makes for a very good fidget toy. You have no idea how much I've pushed in these things and just click away. Oddly satisfying. So, who is this tool for? It's definitely good, but is it good enough to spend an additional $20 on it? I look at this from the perspective of your time in the hobby, or in other words, your skill level. Me, as an intermediate keyboard builder, these features are definitely good to have. But one of the first things that I've gotten in this hobby are keycaps and switch pullers. If Keymove didn't send me this, I would have no problems just bearing the pain and survive on more primitive tools. Since I don't build keyboards every day, I build like what, one, maybe two in a week? Moreover, some kits literally include these things for free. Although not technically a two-in-one tool, it's still two tools in one kit. Would I then spend extra money on this? Mm, nope. But if you are building keyboards for a living, then that is another story. Say you have to troubleshoot or have to build 10 keyboards in an 8-hour workday for your customers. You need to pull out almost a thousand switches per day. I can endure pain with a TKL with 87 switches, but 1,000? This tool will literally be a lifesaver for our fingers. On the other end of the spectrum, I think this tool is also for the serious newcomers in this hobby, who have not gotten their first keycap and switch pullers. It will spare you the money and the literal pain of going through a number of inappropriate tools. I have to say serious, because if you're just going to build one, maybe two keyboards for your own use, this tool is probably not going to give you much value. And some kits, like I said, might already come with these pullers anyway, so it's easy to just skip this. If it does not, this tool is a literal no-brainer. Okay, I'm done. Let me know if you'll get this tool. See ya!